First of all, good evening, everyone. And Lida Husky is a batch maker at Elokewag and Elokagan. I want to thank our President Don Russell, the Board of Governors of our university, for this honor and privilege to serve in a new capacity on campus. My family's connection to our university has a genesis in the 1940s. My mother had taken my sister for a medical appointment in Fredericton. When the bus stopped at the Moonlight Inn in Dumfries on their return trip to Tobik First Nation, the sounds of the young students attracted her attention. She asked who they were and where they were coming from. They told her that they were college students returning to their homes. My mother decided that her children would go get a higher education. She went as far as grade eight on our reserve because there were no other educational opportunities. In fact, she attended grade eight for three years so she could learn as much as possible. My dad went as far as grade three because he had to leave school to work in the woods to support his mother and sisters. My parents had 12 children, but two baby girls died as infants. My mother's determination made it possible for my oldest brother to attend St. Thomas High School in Chatham, New Brunswick. He was followed by my three older brothers. My oldest sister went to a French academy in St. Basel, another sister to St. Mary's Academy in Newcastle, and the last sister to the business school in Fredericton. When it came my turn, I attended St. Francis Xavier University because I was interested in science. So my mother was successful in having her 10 children become a civil engineer, a registered nurse, four teachers, a hairdresser, an office secretary, a chief in our community, and a lawyer. This honor is as much a tribute to my parents, family, and my wife Beth, and our sons Michael and Brian. Both Michael and Brian were students on this campus. I had the privilege to have them as students in the classes I taught here in Native Studies. Although I am not an alumni, I began teaching here part-time since 1983 at the urging of Professor Paul Morrissey. And I continued to teach until 1999. I have also served on the Board of Governors. And as our president indicated, I am now occupying the endowed chair of Native Studies. So I look forward to my involvement and the further growth of our university. And I want to congratulate all of the graduates, the faculty who have used their energy to form very determined and very determined young men and young women from all walks of life so that they will continue that path of lifelong learning of which I am a very strong component. And I also want to thank the words of our current Lieutenant Governor, the Honorable Brenda Murphy. So I'll say thank you very much in my language, will you win? I would now ask Indigenous Student Services Coordinator, Coordinator Trenton Augustine and Brittany Gray, a member of the class of 2021, to bring greetings on the occasion of this installation.
Thank you, President Russell. Upon the assumption of office by a chancellor, it is traditional for institutions and colleagues to offer greetings, congratulations, and best wishes. We are now pleased to share greetings to Chancellor Graydon Nicholas and St. Thomas University from universities, colleges, organizations from coast to coast. On behalf of the province of New Brunswick, Premier Blaine Higgs offers congratulations, noting that as a jurist, scholar, and Lieutenant Governor, Graydon Nicholas is a credit to St. Thomas University and her province. From the Senate of Canada, Senator David Adams Richards notes that few have had a more significant, serene, and beneficial impact on his province or on his people than Graydon Nicholas. And fewer still have done so with such grace and quite resolve. Member of Parliament Janica Atwin offers her congratulations and wishes you the best in this new adventure. From the Legislature of New Brunswick, Mayber Member David Kuhn offers his congratulations on your appointment, which signifies the values you represent. Gula Gizad, St. Thomas University. On behalf of the Diocese of St. John, the Most Reverend Bishop Christian Reisbeck extends his, his sincerest congratulations to a strong Catholic leader whose wealth of experience will greatly benefit St. Thomas University. The Provincial Court of New Brunswick, through the, act of, through the acting Chief Judge, the Honorable Mary Jane Richards, sends greetings to their former colleague, noting that Graydon's life, values, and exemplary consideration of others will inspire all students. On behalf of the Board of Governors, Chair Peter Forstel noted that like so many other achievements in your life, you are our first lay chancellor and bring a proven history of leadership, courage, and resilience to his office. Our community will gladly join with Graydon Nicholas as we champion St. Thomas University and all the great values it stands for. Students past and present, as represented by the Alumni Association and the Students' Union, send their best wishes. Alumni wish you much success and personal fulfillment as you advance our mission in a spirit of progress and collaboration. Students celebrate your appointment and your dedication to equity, which will further enrich our university. Representing 96 universities across Canada, University Canada extends its sincere good wishes and notes that your strong connection to Indigenous students and local communities will be felt well beyond campus. Representing the 16 universities in Atlanta, Canada and the West Indies, the Association of Atlantic Universities sends greetings and congratulations. As did the University of New Brunswick, the Université de Moncton, and the New Brunswick Community College. As well as many universities and colleges from across the country also sent letters of congratulations. These include Kwantlen Polytechnic University, Brescia University College, Campion College, Ontario Tech University, Carleton, Redeemer University, Ryerson, Dalhousie, the Chancellor's alma mater, St. Francis Xavier, St. Mary's, St. Mark's College, University of Ottawa, University of the Fraser Valley, York, Simon Fraser University, and Concordia University. To guide your leadership, former Senator and Professor Dr. Noel Kinsella recalls Psalm 119 from which the stew motto is drawn. Teach me goodness, knowledge, and discipline. And from St. Mark's, Marx's College, former St. Thomas University President Dr. Michael Higgins 
writes that your appointment is inspired, warmly received, and wise, and that Chancellor Nicholas is a living exemplar of the spiritual and cultural values of St. Thomas University. It is our honor to bring these greetings to you, Chancellor Nicholas, on behalf of these institutions and individuals. On behalf of myself and Project AIR, I would like to express immense gratitude to Graydon Nicholas. Not only has he accomplished so much, but he has touched myself and I'm sure so many others with kindness, his willingness to be open, and his passion to share his expertise and his experiences. I've had the most incredible time this year working with Graydon. He has helped me learn more about our culture and has helped support me throughout my own venture of developing my program. I cannot think of a better way to thank him than to be here today and watch him humbly accept the title of being Chancellor. Graydon, thank you so much for all that you've done and for all that you will continue to do in the future. And congratulations for receiving this honor. You, def you definitely deserve it. Well, all in. On behalf of Indigenous Student Services and myself, I am honored to have been asked here to, to take part in today's historic installation of Graydon Nicholas as Chancellor. I could not think of a more deserving, incredible, and gracious person to be chosen as the new Chancellor. It has been an absolute honor to have worked with him these past few years and to see the dedication and heart he puts into everything he does. He is truly an inspiration to me and to others. I would like to give my sincerest congratulations to Graydon, and I'm looking forward to continue working with you in your new position as Chancellor. Walalin, thank you. <laughs> 